Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Thrones. So today, let's do a weekly. Why not? The weekly's brand spanking you. Um, let's give it a go. So it's chicken with the energy sword and the crown of haste. Wonderful. Well, that's a crown we can certainly get with chicken. Um, let's do it. Hiya to you too. So E sword chicken feels very good. Um, anyone with the E sword is pretty good. So if we get long arms straight away, love and life. Uh, so yeah, this should be a fairly easy one, maybe? Possibly. I'm not even going to worry about picking up other weapons, because it's just going to kafuddle my, uh... Ooh, baby! It's going to kafuddle my, uh, energy. This way I just get energy, you know? That's it. Hopefully we can acquire one ammo per, you know, every few enemies, just so we're not, you know, so we break even on the, the ammo side of things. Chicken with an E-sword with the laser brain straight away. Loving life right about now. Feels very good. So hopefully we get, you know, everything else. Long arms. I mean, the real kicker would be if long arms doesn't exist as a mutation choice. If not, then we might need to game the weekly a little bit coming through. Uh, yes. Not bad. It's fairly easy. I'm so used to fighting the hard mode everything. <laughs> the hard mode all of the things. That's it. This isn't too bad. So today on stream... Um, very funnily, we done the arena mod. Where chat can vote in stuff to the game. But I done arena mod and hard mode at the same time. And they work together. They what so the fuck? They work together. So does the long arms, laser brain and e-sword. Going for that big victory, I'd say. So this is a nice, a nice relaxing one, I think. Um... As far as weeklies go, I'm quite happy to stick to the weekly weapon. Also, it would be kind of cool if at the end you just see me with just the energy sword, no other weapons. Hmm. Awfully tempting to take a cursed weapon for the... I might, actually. Right, we're not going to use it, but I'm taking it just to get to the cheese caves. Because that's a lot of kills. And a lot of rads. And a lot of good stuff. Uh, hello? Hmm. That doesn't count as using it. <laughs> doesn't count. Totally fine. So we don't want impact risk because that's bad with melee. We want to have... Maybe back muscle would be good here. I'm not a big fan of throwing weapons. Nor piercing throwing weapons. And I know people will be like, oh, ooh, I'll take that rather than the other one. Just in case I have to make a change. Boom, boom, boom. Um, but yeah, not a big fan of throwing weapons. I like to hold the weapon so I can kill things with it rather than throwing it at people. It's like a last ditch, you've got no ammo left kind of situation. And fair enough, you- hello. Young horror. I, do you know, I've been getting a surprising number of horrors of late. I wonder if there's been something changed in the game. Where I just miss rad canisters on the easy every time, boom. Who knows? Another mutation. What do you have for me? Um, now, the thing is, if I take this, it works with the hyper rifle. So we'll take it. I mean, it's not what I want, but it's what we got. It's what I got. Is that not a song? Is that not uh, Sublime? Was in Tony Hawk's. I nearly done it again. Why am I missing so many rads? I think they're being sneaky, man. I need to get Yal on the phone and be like, yo dude, why are the rad canisters hiding from me? Mm, see, this is what I was talking about, the ammo thing. Why having two weapons sucks. Because with just the E-sword, we'd be getting that ammo on the plenty. Lovely. Alright, in it to win it. Going in big. Yes, I am. I'm glad you noticed, game. I have been feeling a bit more uh, aware of what's going on around me in the game. After that, I mean, hard mode it is hard. Like, let's not bullshit. Very difficult. Oh. He's dead. They're all dead. But it does make you play a lot better when you get to the main game. You know? The, the original vanilla experience. Hmm. I hadn't really thought about this being a problem, but, you know, here we are. Uh, there's rabbit paw. You know, we got the back muscle having a, a rabbit's paw. Might be a good thing. Denying any possibility of fuckery. 
Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? He was like on my face. Get out of it. Fuckers. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, if there was a second E sword, I'd pick that up, but you know, here we are. Loving life. The cheese caves are always terrifying. Regardless of what happens, there's always that fear of, am I going to die at any second? Two mutations. Show me the money. Yes. We need a healing mutation as well. Mm -hmm. None of these are healing mutations. Extra feet, maybe? No, we'll do stress, because, you know. Because maybe that's a good idea. Watch this rate of fire. Wait for it. It really isn't any different, because the hyper rifle's already ridiculously fucking fast. <laughs> Makes no difference at all. None to me. Well, you know what? Living the dream. Literally no difference in the rate of fire. Because it's so fast. Wonderful. The energy sword you'll notice with stress. There'll be a big uptick when we've got half health on the number of swings we can do as a chicken. As a ch I understand why Chicken's angry, though. I don't get why she's a ninja, but I understand why she's angry, you know. Her fellow Chicken kind have probably went through hell. I mean, I say probably. If you've ever eaten any form of Chicken product, you know. They weren't singing them lullabies and fucking stroking them all day. I'll tell you that for free. Because when I'm buying eggs and stuff, I try to buy the, the you know... The nicest eggs. The ones that they treat the chickens fairly well, you know, organic free range if possible. You know, you pay that little bit extra just so a little being doesn't have to suffer for my pleasure. And you'll be like, oh Tom, you big pussy, I'm fine. I have nothing against chickens, man. If you've ever seen an IRL chicken, if you've ever spoke to a chicken, ever conversed with a real chicken. You'll find they're rather interesting creatures, you know? Little personalities, each of them. Had I never met a chicken, a real chicken, you know, on a farm, I'd probably have a different understanding of it, you know? My dad's quite good at that. Being as he is a chef, he's always introduced me to the actual animal I'm eating, so I'm aware of, like, where it comes from, what it's all about, what its favourite things are. Gatling slugger, yes, please. Well, maybe not actually, though. Is recycle gland. It's good. It is good. I was almost going to take the shotgun shoulders there, but you know what? This will be fine. I'll keep this. I have to keep this with the recycle gland. That makes sense. Plus, how often do we do good recycle gland runs? Very infrequently. Did I ever tell you about the time my dad took me in a dodgy dealing? When I was uh, six or seven, maybe. Um, one night, my dad was like, "Come with me. We have a we have a task to do. Um, I'm going to pick up some salmon." And I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll come and help." You know, I'm a day out with dad or night out with dad to pick up some salmon. And I thought it was just going to be a regular, you know, shopping experience. Um, and we left the house in the car. We drove. We drove past the shop. And I was like, I must be going to a special salmon shop that opens at like 10 in the evening. Or 9 or... It was dark. I remember it being specifically very dark. We were going to like the salmon shop, you know. What did I know? I was 7. And we, uh, we drive. We keep driving. We drive to a motorway service station. Kind of like a... Like you would have a diner stop in America on your freeways or whatever the fuck. If that's a th I don't know, like, you're on highway fucking something and there's a diner, you know, one of those kind of dealios. It's like a, a road chef and there's like a coffee shop and shit. Middle of the night, he stops in this place and he's like, Tom, can you look out for any, can you look out for any cameras? And at that point, I'm starting to think, there's something not quite right about this salmon venture that I don't understand yet. It's like, look out for any cameras. So I'm scanning the area for cameras as we stop by a large, a large, a large truck, basically, a big lorry. A big goods lorry. And my dad had somehow arranged to buy some salmon off the back of a van. Literally off the back of a van. I think someone was, like, distributing salmon illegally. And I was brought in on it to look for cameras. And at the time, I was like, this is this is fun, you know. It's just uh, an interesting... Uh, hmm. Yes. We'll do Ultra A. 
An interesting little situation. Little did I know it was accomplished to a crime, perhaps? Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have said that on video recorded, but who knows. But it was odd. Odd. Bye. We got the salmon from this dude illegally, I assume. <laughs> maybe. Maybe maybe it was all above board. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't incriminate myself. Um, also take everything I see with a pinch of salt. Like my dad. Yeah. Anyway. Back to throning. See, halfway through that story, I started thinking, ah, maybe I shouldn't be telling this publicly. Maybe. It's fine. You're all good people. I know you wouldn't think poorly of me and a, a father of mine procuring some salmon on the side. Big salmon, though. I remember the salmon being bigger than I. I've had an interesting life. <laughs> Wonderful. That just ammo. Many ammos. Um, I would very much enjoy going to loop 3. I know that seems ridiculous to say, but without Crown of Blood, it might be possible. So we get our crown, which is partly why I wanted to do this. And then we go, and we uncurse the weapon as well. So if we get like a, I don't know what, another bullet weapon that might be spicy. Starting to feel the pain of no <laughs> scarier face. You know, things are taking a long time to die. Anyway, look one, let's get into it. Let's try and represent on the leaderboards. This is when you notice the lack of scarier faces when the flies are just not dying as fast as I want them to. Boom. Fuck this, fuck all of them. Damned police. What's this? I guess this is when you really want Rhino Skin, is when you don't have a Bloodlust to perk you up every time. Good. One down. Many more to go. Going in big. Always. And forever. I'd, I'd like to get like 2,000 kills. I think that'd be a decent score to get. To aim for. Because we can't take Crown of Blood as, of course, the weekly. We have no say in the crownage that we use. Oh, I guess it does work. I, I forget we've got um, Crown of Face, so our health packs give us... Three health instead of two. Not bad. He was still there. I was wondering where he went. I was like, did I kill him? Nah, he's just hiding. Laying in wait. He tried to give me the sneaky undercover cop. Wouldn't that be funny if the game had a special police officer that was like an undercover cop? They came in wearing like the skin of another enemy. Like how the assassins wear bushes in the jungle. You'd get like a cop who was like a suspicious looking bandit. You know? Could call that one the the detective. No, wait, we've already got a detective. We could call it the uh The informant. No, not the informant. Ah Bandits, please. Definitely need some of that action. Woo! Okay, bomb on. Uh, no problem at all. Melee weapon. Many bullets. We're ready to rumble. Royal rumble. Uh, is this good or bad? I can't tell. I like how our stress when it kicks in is pretty good, actually. Pretty, pretty good. Back to full health. Boom, bang, wallop. Smack. And uh, smack isn't something you should say out loud as a Scottish man. See, in Scotland, smack means uh, a bit of heroin, you know. So whenever I shout smack, someone, someone in Scotland's, you know, attempting to make a sale at me, probably. <laughs> Grenades. I think the the weeklies have been more um, more more enjoyable recently. There's been a lot more fun to be had in the weeklies. I remember before the weeklies used to be really fucking tough, man. You know, there'd be shitty weapon. Well, I, I guess it's the way I play the weekly, though. I like to keep the weapon the weekly gives me because it feels like that's kind of the point. 
you know? Well, if you're just putting everything down for a SPC and Ultra Shovel, then you're not really doing anything. You're just doing the same thing. You would just play the game regularly then. You know, all you're doing is giving yourself a shitty crown to use in a regular run. You know, try and stick to the theme of the run. Boom. Bang. Do I? Do I? Do I do that? The blood hammer? And go for cheesecakes number two? It's awfully tempting. But then again, it'll mess with the ammo side of things. So I'm going to say no. But it's fair. It's fairy time. I'm going to do it. Fuck it. Let's live a little, man. Let's enjoy ourselves. Because if the worst comes to the worst, we'll just use the blood hammer to fuck shit up. You know, try and have fun with a video game once in a while, maybe, Tam. I think that's partly why I've been enjoying playing Nuclear Throne so much recently is the fact that I'm open to change and doing things that I wouldn't normally do or, like, trying to have fun in the game. You know, for the betterment of my own enjoyment of video games. I forget how large the arc is on this fella. And the damage output, man. Glorious. Glorious. If that was a hyper rifle, I was going to be very happy. But I'm, I'm okay with the blood hammer, you know. Living the dream. Free time. This is a little bit terrifying. Oh no. And then just straight back in there. What the fuck? How's he not dead? There's like a thousand explodey boys. Oh, there we go. Fine. I'm almost certain I'm dead. I, I think at this point it's probably the end of the line for us. Or is it? Maybe? I'm just so fucking scared of the crystals, man. They put the fear of all sorts. Right, mind out. See, that's the shit I don't like the teleport, man. If I can soften up this side, get rid of the van, then the hyper crystal should be fairly easy. Use the blood timer here for the free ammunition. Lovely. Okay. Crap, man. Oh, see, that's the bullshit I don't like, man. Can't abide by it. Ooh wee. Anything good. Maybe the heavy machine gun, actually. I mean, we have the recycle gland, so it makes sense, you know. It's a bit slow, but... Quite meaty at the same time. I'm just... I'm, I'm just imagining how much killing potential we would have with Scarier Face. Be a lot of killing power, mimic. Yes, that's that, that's what we need. Stress rocks. <laughs> now it's only like we've kind of got like an LMG or something. Oh, now we're talking LMG style. Let's 
got another interesting cadence to it. Like a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit It's not quite a consistent flow. I guess that's because it's like randomized, I think. The, the timings in the shots are slightly randomized, maybe? Or is it just the sounds are randomized and it makes it sound good? Because Jonas is a genius when it comes to sound making. I don't know. I'm just enjoying the fact that I seem to be doing kind of okay. So that gold tank was the one that scared me. I think gold tanks are the priority kill. Taking the hit for the Roth. That rate of fire bonus. Nice. Actually killing it. Uh, one for you. So oh my god, it's fine. We really need to replace this with something better. A heavy machine gun not quite as good as the heavy assault rifle, maybe? Heavy AR, much better. The fear here is something manages to get out of the, the, the bottleneck. Hopefully not this fella here. Lovely. <laughs> Feels good. So we're over halfway to my goal of 2,000 kills. That was a large explosion, very scary. Many whelps. I think Lil Hunter, if you just pursue him aggressively, it's your best bet for success. I need to find these necromancers, they must die. They all miles, lots of them. No, oh, no, don't let the dogs in. Grab that health just in case. <laughs> it's fine, we're gonna lose it anyway. Right, aggressive style. Attacking stands. Um, yeah, our ammo is fine. Our health, not so much. Not having bloodlust or uh, second stomach is a bit scary. Maybe health in here? Lovely. Onwards and upwards. Into the labs. Loop 2 is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty possible. Right about it, nerds. Many nerds. Too many, some might say. Oh my god, what the fuck? Get these crystals out of here! Ah, I need to get in here and kill these fuckers, man. Too many necromancers is bad times, bro. Ooh, I wanna pick it up! But I'm not gonna because I can't. Bullets! Many bullets. Where's my health at, yo? Up, oh, yeah, fuckers. Give me the stuff. I will see. I'm enjoying using bullets in Recycle Gland. I'm gonna do it more often. I have a lot of fun with it. I hear the last Technomancer, and I don't enjoy the song of his people. Woo! Lovely. So as soon as we loop, we'll get another uh, uncurse on our weapon, so we can probably aim for maybe the Heavy Assault Rifle. I think that'd be fun. 
because how often have I used that in a run? Seriously. Like, actually to good use. I pick it up, spam it a bit, and then I put it back down again. You know, not exactly the best showing of the weapon's capabilities. Oh, we got the B track. This is one of my favorite B songs in the whole game. Turn it up a tiny little bit. Tiny little smidge, just, uh, you know, to enjoy the glory of it. Yeah, a nice relaxing number, you know. I forget when you turn it up, you turn, like, all the sounds in the game up as well, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Nice. Lovely. There's going to be a lot of high scores in this. I'll tell you that for free. There's going to be a lot of uh, 12, 13, 14 thousands at the end of this, I think. I mean, not right now. I mean, when the weeklies had a chance. By Sunday. It's going to be pretty dank. One, two. Ambitious, but there's no way you're getting in. What are you thinking? Am I dead? Oh. Well, that's fucked my plans up. Letting the dog in is, is seriously boned my, my plans. Do you know what it could be called actually the um, Ultra Revolver or the Ultra Pistol or whatever the fuck? Whatever it's called. That could be a good weapon to have. Mm, grab some of this shit. Have a drink as well, dearie me. If we do aim for loop 3, we've got another good 20 minutes of throning and I'm prepared. Hopefully, you know. Loop 2 can be a spicy meter ball. Uh, do we use E-Sword for these, or this? Oh yeah, they break so easily that who even cares what we use? Yeah, takes up roughly that many bullets to, uh... I don't even know, do you even need to do that on a loop? I can't even remember. It's been so long since, you know... I mean, I always have, you know. Easy. I'll do it all in bullets. Um, I'll finish the way I started. My funny feeling it's not even trying to hit me. There we go. How many bullets does it take? Please tell me I didn't miss a generator, by the way. That would be silly. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Not bad. Gave it a fancy footwork finish as well. Feels good. I think my dodging's definitely getting better. Like, I'm starting to get that bobbing and weaving back to what it used to be. Let's do it. This is a very small arena, which is quite terrifying, actually. Um, this will definitely claim a few lives, I'll tell you that for free. Time today. Oh, 
I really don't want to melee the, the for the last hit because the explosion can be, you know, devastating. My nose is running again, man. I think I've got the cold coming on. All day today I've been wiping my nose, fucking. All sorts pissing out the front of me. So, heavy AR, that's what I want to see. All I want to see. Or I can just do this and just, you know, E sword only, and we'll have unlimited ammunition. I think. Nah, we'll keep this. I like having a bullet gun. It's kind of growing on me a little bit. With the bite muscle and so much ammo, you know, you start thinking, this is pretty good. You know what? This is. Not again. Unless this is a. Oh, it's fine. I thought that was the heavy auto. I mean, the heavy assault rifle. If I had Bolt Marrow, I would easily pick that up and do Cheese Caves the third. There's still time. There's still time. How many kills? Ah, oh, we're getting there. No time for jokes. What was that? That was a sniper. You hate to see it. What up? Be smart. Oh, this is bad times. It's not over yet, though. We lost a little bit of max health. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, this could go on forever, actually. I forgot how... Uh how chicken works. A little bit rough around the edges there, but you know, we're still trucking along. Living the dream, what the fuck? I need to be very aggressive. Is that laser? Shit. Wait, what happened? I lost my head! I need help, please. That's fine. We're back to stock health. Nothing that a big health chest can't fix. Kind of screws with our um, stress a little bit. I'm not really too worried about it, you know. This is more concerning. Multiple shielders, two of them being elites, is terrifying. Thankfully though, Rabbit Paw's been a big hero today. Okay. Still trucking. Still doing it. Has there really been no other good bullet weapon since? And we got the 2000 kills. Amazing. I, I really don't want to die to Balmum. Of all the bosses, Balmum is the one I don't want to die to the most. See, it, normally if I didn't have a melee weapon, I'd be like, yo, maybe Balmum would be tough. But with the melee weapon, dying to Balmum is like, you know. Darwin Awards grade stupidity. What time are I? Oh no! Why do I speak too soon every time? My mouth is hexed. There is a huge problem with the, the words that come out of my mouth for whatever reason. I don't believe in jinxes, but perhaps there's a hex or something. Maybe a witch. Oh my god. Coming through. I need help! Heal me, yes, dude! I'm back! 
Fuck you, you gigantic motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I almost very nearly fucked it. I mean, we're talking like... We were on the cusp of fuckery. Letting Ballman walk into me first, and then getting, like, turbo-fucked by the elite shielders, my god. There used to be trees here. Nah, I couldn't give a shit. Don't. Don't do it. One day the heavy AR will present itself, and it'll be a good day. If anything, the heavy heavy machine guns become a fine weapon to destroy vans with, you know, near limitless ammo. He did die. The shielder died. Um, we're never going to see a big health chest. Just set your expectations. There's no chance I can make a glorious comeback from this. But what I can do is try and melting style edge it all the way. Edging style. To the finishing line. Deal with it, chat. YouTube comment section. Deal with the bigness. We're doing cheese caves the third. Mostly so I can get introductions like this to levels. I can just walk in. Plasma cannon that shit. No, bro! This is fine. I just want to see the cheese caves the third. If I can get the cheese caves again, I'll be happy! I'm dead. I'm not dead. It's fine. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, how did he not throw? And all that's a golden cross will get my face. Oh. This has been an interesting run. From many perspectives, mostly from the perspective of what the fuck am I doing? To go from that much health to no health in the space of a couple of levels. Oh no. There's no coming back from this one, I'll tell you. No coming back from this one, I'll tell you. No coming back from that, you fuckers. <laughs> 2,461. How did we do? 37th. Well, we can improve on that, for sure. Who's sitting top of the table? We've got a 4,000 right now. This is going to be much different by the time Sunday rolls around. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I'll see you tomorrow.